we quite often get asked on testing glow plugs for the 1500 BMC engine. Some BMC engines were fitted with a 9 volt glow plug. These are no longer available. Today the replacements are all 12 volt. When it comes to fitting the 12 volt plugs and replacement of the 9, it, they are physically the same size. The only thing is that you have to alter is you have to take the rectifier out from behind the back of the dash. It looks like a large curly pig's tail and this just reduces the voltage from 12 to 9. If you put a direct bridge across here, um, you'll then get a 12 volt supply to your plug. If you collect one end of the glow plug to your battery, touch the body of the plug against the other terminal or other post to check the plug. What should happen within a few seconds is that it should glow cherry red as shown in the picture. This glow plug is working absolutely 100%. A common mistake when fitting the glow plugs to the heads is not to clear out the carbon element chamber within the head prior to fitting the new plugs. This can be easily done by simply removing the old plug and using cordless drill with a 4mm drill bit clean the hole. If you don't drill the carbon out of the head prior to printing the new plug, what can happen is the carbon buildup within inside the head can actually cause you to break the carbon rod, hence causing the uh, plugs to fail. Right, I've just removed the second plug from the head and as you can clearly see the carbon rod has snapped from the end of the glow plug. Now, the carbon rods can snap off clearly like this. Sometimes they can break internally and you can remove the plug. You can see that there's nothing that looks wrong with them but you must test them on a battery uh, as the rods can break internally. If you get a plug where the carbon rod has snapped off like this inside the head, all you need to do is get your cordless drill you don't have to remove the head from the tractor or engine or boat, whatever it's in, you can leave it on and you can simply drill it out. The ideal drill size for drilling the carbon rods out is 4 to 4.2 millimetres. This will remove all the carbon without touching the cast iron of the head. If you're concerned about the carbon going into the cylinder block when you drilling the carbon rod out, simply crank the engine over with the injectors removed and it'll just blow the uh, dust out. You can leave the injectors in if you wish, um, but it'll blow the dust out for you at the side.